Hey there artists, it's Emily at Art With All Bright. Thanks for joining me. We're going to draw an awesome dragon today. Uh, if you like this one, you can find this dragon lesson on keepdrawing.com as I did that for a live class. If you're ever interested in a live class, go to artwithallbright.com. All right, you ready for that? Now let's see here. We're going to take this dragon and we're going to, we're not going to do the full body. Um, I've kind of created a way to draw most of the body, okay? <laughs> so find a good big piece of paper. I'm going to draw um, as light as I can to start out. I'm going to draw a line down the page. Um, it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. Just draw as straight as you can. As you know, I had coffee, so I'm a little bit wiggly. Do you notice that? Woohoo! That's okay. Let's have some fun, okay? That's all we're here for. We're drawing with pencil. Um, I am a mechanical pencil person because I like my pencils sharp. So let's start with the head. We're going to pretend this line here is the wall, okay? And we're going to have a dragon peeking around there um, just to give us enough time to draw some of the body and one big wing extended, okay? That's why I'm drawing on this side of the paper. Um, and I'm going to have the head peeking out. So let's go ahead and build our character with our shapes, right? That's how we're going to do it. And see if we can get this dragon to come, come to life with our awesome artistic abilities, right? So we want to put a claw right here. And then we're going to put the other claw over here. Um, this one's going to be a little larger because it's closer to us, right? Objects closer to us are larger. Um, this is going to be the arm coming down and connecting to that hand. Um, just rough sketch this, guys, please. Let's just let's just plot out our, our fun here, okay? The body's going to come down, and then we're going to have a leg right here. And then we're going to have the tail swooping out. So let's just swoop that out for now. Oops, there you go. Get that on the camera. Swoop that out for now. Now, uh, let's see here. The wing, we want the wing to come out this direction. If I'm going way too fast, you guys have a pause button. So grab that pause button. Don't get angry with Miss Emily, okay? You can pause. Now, with this wing, I want to create um, some extension. I want, it, I want it coming out, okay? Uh, let's see here. So when we do that, we're just gonna we're just gonna put our placement in. Okay, that's all we're doing. We're just building the character. Look how weird that is. Is that weird? That's sort of like when you're drawing a human. This is my little human figure. You can buy these at little art stores, right? You you see the little segments of the body. Okay, that helps the artist get proportion. Okay, and be accurate, and that way you don't have a guy whose arm is is just halfway to the waist, you know, and then they put a little hand there and you're like, oh grief, that's not how to draw. So let's make sure we're putting in all the segments to the body, okay? Are you ready for this? Let's build this. Now this is a small dragon. Why? Well, you know, we, we only have so, um, so much paper size. <laughs> you can always draw bigger if you want. Now right here, I'm going to um, go down the center and curve down the center because this is a round object. I don't want to do a straight, straight line thinking this is going to be a flat head. We want a rounded dragon on this, right? Good. So let's see here. Where is the eye? I want to put the eye right about here. Let's put that little almond shape, point it back, put a little almond shape. That's tiny. That's very tiny. We're not going to do very big details on this creature today, okay? We're just wanting to get a nice dragon, have a little fun. You know that I am not really um, a dragon person. Um, I do this just for you. So I'm stretching myself as an artist. Um, coming out of my box. I usually do animals because I foster animals. I love animals. Um, so dragons are totally foreign to me. So for you, boom, I'm doing it. Okay. 
You guys make me grow, you make me stretch. Now I'm gonna lightly take off this line just to where only I can see it. Well, for you, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And I want to create some detail. I need to look at something. Let's see here. On this guy, we have some weird detail. We've got horns and spikes and teeth and some worn look and some spots. And oh my goodness, what can we do with this? Right? Let's see here. I want to put a horn right above... Is that a horn or is it like a, I don't know, you guys need to educate me on these weird dragon creatures that you like so much. <laughs> you can help me out, right? Uh, my live classes, you guys do a really good job getting me uh, to, to understand what all this stuff is um, so I can be more um, educated on this. So let's take these spikes and just go down the back of that neck. Do you see the neck? We're just gonna take some spikes. They don't have to all be the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Just curve them as they're going down. Okay, curve them, curve them, curve them. You see how we did that? Sweet. Now let's work on this neck. Let's curve this line here and we're going to start creating some texture on it. So I'm gonna do the little letter V going down, okay? Let's take it all the way, let's, let's take it to the shoulder and go down. There we go, we're creating some more texture, giving it more uh, dragon look, right? There we go, I like that. Now for the neck, I don't know what really we want to add other than I'm gonna just scribble some circles on here. Let's scribble some circles on here, just giving that some texture, right? That's all we're doing right now. We'll go back and do the head after I after I figure out what I really want to do with this thing, right? There you go. How's that? Now for this claw right here, we're going to we're going to use that circle and we're going to curve these fingers around the wall. Okay? So come away from that circle and go around that wall. So curve and bring those fingers around, bring those fingers around. I think I went way out of my circle, but that's okay. I wanted to make sure I got three fingers with those little fingernails in there. And then with that little other, I guess, I don't think they have thumbs, do they? Let's just tuck that behind that wall. There, is that better? I like that, I like that, that is cool. Okay, now if you have a teeny tiny eraser, then you can go in and erase your little line. That works for me. More detail later. How's that? So this one, remember, when you um, are drawing a creature, thumbs are always pointed toward the inside. Okay, I always do that. Now I'm not really sure if dinosaurs, what is this? Dragon. Shoo! You caught me. I was going to call it a, a dinosaur. Make sure that comes to the inside. Now, if you want to go ahead and erase that circle, so you because you don't have a tiny eraser, erase it so it's light as can be, okay? So you can still see it. Now, let's curve this one going the opposite direction. Curving that around, curving that around, and one more, curving that around. There we go. A little larger because it's closer to us, correct? Yes, you're with me on that. Now, this claw or hand... Um, is connected to this arm. We can't see that one over there. So let's just go ahead and bring that down. So this one right here, you can't really see where it's connected. So let's pull that down, right? We're gonna pull that down. And then let's create an elbow right here. So go ahead and put a little oval there. That'll bring it and drop it down and then you can pull it up. ta -da! Don't you love it? Don't you love how things come together? Now this one, let's go up here and pull it down and give it inside crease. And then you can go back and erase all that. Now if you have a really cool eraser, or you don't, you can always cut your bigger erasers or just use the little uh, corners, okay? You don't need anything fancy to draw. No, you don't need anything fancy. 
We're artists. We love to draw with anything, right? Now this, let's put some spikes on the on the outside of this arm. So put your little V's going all the way down. You like that? Now for this chest, we're going to finish the V's coming down. Okay, finish those V's, bring those down. Ta-da! Much better. Love it. We're going to go back and do shading and all the details in a little bit. Don't don't panic. Now, back here, this is the wing, right? Yes. Okay. So back here, let's do some some zigzags, some V's coming down, and then we're going to create the little leg down here. So I'm just going to use that oval. I'm going to use the oval, and then we're going to have some little toes. So do some little circles right here, connecting it to the leg and bringing it down. That's all we're doing. And it's going to hit that wall. What do you say? Good. Perfect. Now inside that little leg, erase it, and then let's just add our little circles. Just scribble it. Why not? Just scribble, 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 scribble in there. You're just adding texture, right? Yeah, it helps when I look at the paper and not the screen. Now we're going to finish this um, stomach look going down. So bring that line down. And instead of doing V's now, we're just going to do curves because we can't really see all of it. And if you really want to make it look rounded, curve the edge and then round up that belly. See how I did that? Perfect. You guys are having fun. I know it. I know it. Now this wing, this one is coming away from the body. So let's curve that down. And then we're going to have some nails up here. So I'm going to spike that up a little higher. Okay, let's spike it and bring it back down. That's that's nice little hook up there. Is that a toenail maybe? You guys, I, I apologize. I'm just drawing this for you. <laughs> the things I do for you. What have you drawn outside of your comfort zone recently? Have you drawn anything outside your comfort zone? Are you stretching yourself as an artist? Now let's do this one in segments. There make it look a little more um, uh, detailed here. There we go. Okay, so now we need to connect these, right? So don't go just go straight. Let's go up and down. How's that? Up and down. Making sure they touch. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Ta-da! I like that a lot. That was really fun. That was easy, easy. Now let's see here. For the tail, let me move this so you guys can see. Woo, there we go. Um, the tail, I want to come, let's see. I know I, I just slapped that on there, so I'm going to just take it off and rethink. I want it to come a little bit where this leg is. I want it to come down up and around. Does that make sense? There we go. So take the thickness of the tail and follow that and as you go around you're getting smaller, smaller, smaller and then let's drop it down. I can't go this direction because then I would, wouldn't see the cool details. So think about the placement on your page because you know how much space you have. Okay, I don't. So you follow your your paper around. Now this dragon I was looking at has an arrow um, for a tail. So let's just put that triangle there. There, I love that. That is really cool. So now all we need to do is go back and put a bunch of details on this. Okay, so if you're more advanced than myself, enjoy. You know, you go and you show me what you've done and I would love um, to see what kind of craziness um, in the detail world that you can do. But I'm just going to add maybe some octagons up here, some scales. Let's see with lines. The things you can do just with straight lines and curved lines, right? As artists, that's all we're doing is creating amazing art pieces with our pencil power. What? 
So let's see here. I'm going to round out this nice horn here and add some shading behind it. Shading adds depth, okay? That is a really cool way to get some more detail on your piece. I'm bringing this in front of the wall so that, um, let's see here, I wanna shape this a little outside of what I'm hoping to do, pointing it, making it pointy. Is that right? We want to make it pointy. So let's put a nice big V right here. I'm going to pull that up. There we go. I like that. And if you want, you can put a little jaw under there with a curve. Ta-da. I'm going to add some shading back here. Let's see here. Let's add some more lines and just give them more scales. How's that? I think that's cool. I think that's cool. I'm going to grab my stomp. Now my stomp is a blending tool. It's just simply rice paper, guys. You can take it and smooth out um, some of your shaded areas, adding some more depth to it, um, some more detail. I'm just going to go around my shapes, adding some more detail, giving it that look. And then I can take my eraser. Oh, let me show you my fave. My favorite is this teeny tiny eraser. You see that, how tiny that is? What? That thing is just a speck. And I can take away some of that, adding some highlights. So I'm gonna add some highlights in some areas. If you can see on this little tiny, teeny tiny project we're doing here, um, and give it some more detail, giving highlights. Do you ever think of giving detail with highlights? Now some, some dragons, you can use contour lines going around the horns and giving them some more detail that way. So dragons can take hours to draw, as you always, all probably already know, uh, since you are here for the dragon lesson, right? Um, or they could just take a little bit of time. It's just up to the artist. How much do you really want to put in on this um, creature? How much fun do you want to have? How much do you want to stretch yourself and grow? Right? Are you having a good time when you're drawing? Are you smiling when you draw? Or are you very serious? I hope you're having a good time. That's my goal here. When we draw together, I'm hoping that you are having a good time. So that's my goal. I'm going to put some contour lines on these fingers just to give it a little more detail. So if you've had a good time, let me know, okay? If you like to draw, you can find me on um, Facebook or Instagram, Art with Albright. Let me know how much you like drawing dragons. Um, don't let me know if, if, I don't, if you don't like my dragons. Don't let me know. It will hurt my feelings. I, I just like to be encouraged. I don't want to be discouraged, right? The world's hard enough. Life is hard enough. Don't discourage each other. Let's just encourage. If you liked one thing about my dragon, just let me know that, okay? <laughs> one thing. If you liked one thing about the dragon, you let me know. If you don't like my dragon, you can just turn it off, right? You have that power. What? You have power? No way. Now, let's decide about this tail. Because this tail is part of the belly, um, and then we come up here and it starts twisting, and then it comes to a point. So let's see here. This is where it's still part of the belly, so curve this. I'm going to put giant letter U's along here, so that way it looks a little more rounded, giving this dragon. Look at me. I didn't call it a dinosaur. I called it a dragon. Um, does anybody know what this dragon is from? I just saw it on something, um, one of my daughter's books, and I was like, ooh, I think I could draw that. I think I could remember how to draw that. Do you have to have a reference, or do you just draw out of your own creative, um, abilities? Mmm, that's impressive. That would be impressive. You know what? I don't want it to go this wild belly all the way. We're going to stop it right about here. How's that? 
Ta-da! That's how you do it. And then it can just start having spikes coming up this way. See? Creative freedom. Artistic, is it artistic freedom or creative freedom? I think it's all, all of the above, right? Let's put some spikes going down the back. Just doing my, my upside down V's, letting that happen. You guys are awesome. I love when you challenge me to do new things. Um, really, I mean, some people don't like to be challenged, but I can, I can rise to a challenge. I can. That's what drawing and being creative is all about. It's trying something new, doing something different. Look, my crazy little circles. <laughs> my crazy circles. Okay, let's just add some shading on here. Let's just add shading. I'm going to grab my stomp. Now, if you don't have a stomp, grab a Q-tip. Okay, if you don't even have a Q-tip, toilet paper. Toilet paper, roll it up and just... Just do it just go for it now some people like to use their fingers I don't recommend that only because it makes a mess of your art I already make a mess of my art by just rubbing <laughs> see all the gray on my hand my hand gets in, in the way all the time that's okay it's okay right it's okay so here we go we're just gonna draw I'm just using what's on my stomp to take it over into the wing. You see how I did that? That's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna blend everything, rough it up a little, give it some more detail. Oh, I forgot this part of the tail. I'm just gonna put my crazy little scribbles of circles all the way down this tail. And look at us. We're just cruising through this little dragon. This dragon is super cool just peeking around that corner there. Now instead of just having uh, lines, I think these are fingers or bones. Let's put some lines here and create a little thickness for these areas. And I want to do them in like segments. Just like your fingers, you know, have, have different bones. Let's do that for, for, for our wing here. That way, this is a segment, this is a segment, all the way down to here, and then this one's more curved. Yeah, look at that. And I'm not really taking my time on this. Why? Well, because I was really trying to get you a lesson in less than 20 minutes, but we've already hit the 20 minute mark. <laughs> Okay, I'm just taking my stomp and I'm just gonna gently, sorry for the sound, some people don't like my stomp sound. Like, Miss Emily, that sound is just horrible in that microphone. So I'm just gonna blend this, pulling it down into the wing, just because I like that contrast. I don't want a bright white wing on my bright white paper. Sometimes I get that gray tone paper and draw. Uh, that's really fun to draw on. As an artist, I like to just use different types of mediums, different types of um, tools and, and papers and pencils just because I want to have a variety of fun, you know? Just stretch yourself. This lesson's really about just stretching yourself. Well, it was for me, right? Because Dragons are cool. Look at that. You guys made me a dragon fan. Even my dog is a dragon fan. Look at that. He's so what do you think? You love drawing dragons? Did you stretch yourself? You could spend more time doing uh, so much more on this, right? You could be doing more details. I could clean it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be cleaning it up and showing you guys later. How's that? Is that cool? Okay, so I could work on this all day. It's kind of fun. I pulled out one of my, um, let's see, 10B pencils, and I went and I did some extra um, detail in here, giving it some more depth, some more character. Um, I took my gummy eraser. My gummy eraser, do you know what this is? It's a gummy eraser. Wah! And you warm it up a little. And then I just went and I stroke 
up, giving it some more wear and tear on these wings to make it look a little more um, detailed, um, more, I don't know, put some more highlights, some more rough. I mean, this dragon's been through all kinds of adventures, so I wanted to make it look like that. So again, I could be here all day drawing and detailing this dragon, um, but I think I'm just going to call it and let you enjoy uh, taking it from here. How's that? So show me what you've done. Thank you for staying with me and drawing outside my comfort zone. And let me challenge you to try something else um, on my keepdrawing.com or our Albright um, live classes.